Going worldwide, Dirty Water. And I love that Dirty Water TV. Love that Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water. I love that Dirty Water TV. I really do. The best. Ow! Welcome to Dirty Water TV. I'm Kendra Middleton. And I'm Gianna Gravelisi. We are coming to you from Seabrook, New Hampshire, just over the border of Massachusetts, from the Brook Casino, one of the best places for live entertainment. Obviously, some gaming, outdoor spaces, anything you want, they have it, I promise you that. And it is so gorgeous here at the Brook, and there's so much to see, so much to do, and in this next half hour, we're gonna take you inside every single area. It was also just renovated, which means there is more place for you to live free and play in all of the spaces here at the Brook. That's right, but for now, here's just a glimpse at what makes the Brook so special. Welcome to The Brook, the premier destination in New Hampshire for casino gaming, race wagering, and the state's largest sportsbook location, the DraftKings Sportsbook at The Brook. With a recent multi-year, multi-million dollar expansion and remodel, The Brook has become America's largest charity casino. Formerly known as the Seabrook Greyhound Park, this entertainment center in Seabrook, New Hampshire now spans more than 90,000 square feet. Experience year-round entertainment with over 500 thrilling gaming and video poker machines, a theater, Vegas quality shows and exceptional dining in an all-new restaurant and outdoor deck. Conveniently located just over the Massachusetts New Hampshire border, the brook is easily accessible from Route 95 at Exit 1. Whether you're enjoying card games in the casino, watching football in the sports book with friends, having brunch at Lucky's, or rocking out to live music on the new outdoor deck throughout the summer, the brook promises an exciting experience for all. But the brook offers more than just gaming, food, drinks, and entertainment. The venue also has a charitable arm that supports local nonprofit organizations. By donating 35% of all games of chance revenue, including blackjack, roulette, and craps. That's right. When you play at the Brook, everyone wins. And the Brook takes it one step further. As a 100% employee-owned company, we are planting deep roots and strengthening our local economy. For our team, it's not just a job. We actually own the place. The Brook contributes to charities like the Make-A-Wish Foundation and Meals on Wheels. These donations help these organizations continue to provide critical services to the communities surrounding Seabrook, New Hampshire. Where you play matters. The Brook. Live free and play. Such an amazing venue. Who knew you could enjoy entertainment like this such a short distance from Boston over the Massachusetts border in New Hampshire? I know, right? And now that we've introduced you to the Brook, let's take a closer look. Wait, Kendra. Didn't you get like a personalized tour? I sure did. Let's take a look. Here with the CEO of The Brook, Andre Carrier. Andre, I know you guys have put a ton of work into The Brook over the last couple of years, but first off, can you give me a little bit of background about this sure. unique location? Sure. You know, first of all, it's been fun work. And you know, if I was gonna give you a background, uh, clearly I'm from here. But I've really spent the majority of my life building and operating casinos in Las Vegas. So I wanted to come home, but I also really wanted to bring some of that excitement and that unique cachet of Las Vegas back with me. And I think that's what we try to do in the brook is to give you that night out, that day where you're not sure what you want to do, but you said, I want to go out. And once you get here, you know that there's going to be plenty of fun to be had. And, and that's the brook. So you're from the area. What makes this location in particular so special? You know, there's probably two reasons. One is you can't beat the location. Exit 1 and the 95 corridor, it's really easy to get in and out. The other is for so many people in the area, they have history here. Whether their own or with dad or with their grandfather, have it be reinvented for the next generation is something that, honestly, it excites them. It, it makes them feel proud. Our vision for the Brook was to make it a destination. It, it's New England's new night out. And to do that, you can't be one thing. you got to be many things. That's why we have restaurants, and that's why 
why there's indoor dining and outdoor dining. That's why we have the largest sports book in New England. It's probably the best place to watch sports with your friends if you can't go to the game. That's why we built the showroom. That's why we kind of have a curated series of events, everything from tiki nights on the deck to uh, chef prepared meals that kind of are designed to be something you can't get anywhere else. The Brooks got to be more than just gambling. Gambling is fun, and then you want to do other things uh, along with it. And that's what the Brook does well. It's, uh, it's about being a one-stop shop for your uh, enjoyment. And if we've done it well, that's what it is. If I'm not mistaken, this is the largest charity casino in the country. Can you speak to that? Yeah, look, I, I mean, I wanted to come home, but this idea of building the largest charity casino in America and having the largest charity casino in America be 100% employee owned is what really got me going. Imagine if you could come out and have your good time. And by doing so, you were gonna be there for someone when they were having their hard time. And that's what the Brook is. 35 cents on every dollar when you play blackjack is going to an essential charity every day. And in the beginning, it was small amounts. It was the ability to raise 25 or 35,000. But now the Brook raises in excess of $100,000 every week for two charities. So organizations that we know are out there doing essential work, like uh, Make-A-Wish, the ability for big brothers and big sisters to have a one-stop fundraiser for 10 days that raises in excess of $100,000 is really efficient for them. But it also builds awareness for lesser known organizations like Kremples, for people who experience traumatic brain injury or their loved ones do, knowing where to get help can be hard. But seeing it at the brook, seeing signs, having it explained to you, seeing it right now, if that, God forbid, is something that comes into your life, knowing that Kremples is out there to help, is also part of what we do and what gets us excited at the Brook. That's incredible. Well, we're super excited to take you at home through the Brook Casino tonight. Thanks so much for introducing us to the Brook and all it has to offer. I can't wait to see the rest of the property as we take viewers through this show. We'll show you why it's always a great idea to live free and play at the Brook. We'll take you inside the gaming and wagering scene here at the Brook. We'll hit the deck for a lobster feast like no other. We'll croon with the Uptown Boys at Seasons. And we'll show you why Lucky's is always a winning bet at any time of day. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Gianna Gravelisi here with my very good friend, Kendra Middleton. And right now we are going outside of the Brook for a very special event. We're out here on the deck gearing up for a uniquely New England event, the first ever lobster bake. Oh, I love a good lobster bake. But before we get into that, let's tell everyone what makes the deck so special. So the deck is super special because you can watch games out here. As long as the weather's good, there's a game on on this TV. Obviously, like we're experiencing today, there's super fun food events, but there's also free concerts all summer long. Ooh, again, Kendra, I can't stop thinking about the lobster bake, but let's take a look at the deck first. Enjoy a cocktail and small bites on the deck, a new outdoor space with a monstrous AK TV screen and fire pit. Tailgating and game watching on a sunny day or staying warm by the huge fire pit on a chilly New Hampshire night has never been easier or better. The deck is the best spot to eat, drink, and get lucky without missing a minute of the sporting action. During the warmer months, you can come hang out on the deck and listen to live music all summer long. All right, Andre, obviously when the weather in New England is nice, it is nice. So having a deck speaks for itself, but can you talk to me about the events that are hosted out here? What's coming up and what are your favorite things to host out here? There is a time and a place to be outside in New England. You gotta give the ecosystem for it. And I wanted to get people back out to the track. I mean, for a lot of people, there's good memories out here. And so the deck overlooks what was the track here at Seabrook Park. We want to fill it with, again, those reasons, compelling reasons that once we get there, there's something cool going on. Tonight, we're getting ready to set up for uh, Tiki Thursday. Tiki drinks, poo-poo platters. Uh, it's an event we do with Kowloon, the legendary Kowloon, coming out here and making Mai Tais and all kinds of fun drinks with great music and entertainment. Two of the acts I want to call everybody's attention to to be out here. I, I'm a music nut. I was raised in this industry. I was uh, once the godfather of the showroom at the great Golden Nugget in Las Vegas where I had Tony Bennett uh, to Jewel to Michael Buble. I love music. And I wanted to bring a few artists here that maybe people didn't know yet. Some people did, but maybe they didn't. 
who I think are masterful. And two of those artists are going to be out on here on the deck this summer, absolutely free. The first one I'd call your attention to is Javier Colon, a New Englander, winner of season one of The Voice. No one does James Taylor other than James Taylor like Javier Colon. So if you like JT's music, you like Javier, go Google him, come out. It's absolutely free. We're going to be out here, I hope, on an evening like, like this and enjoy his music. The other, Wenlo. They're a sensation, a brother and sister sensation. They cover songs in ways that I think the real artist must sit back and go, wow, I dug that. Super talented. They're going to be out here under the stars. So game day experience, can you differentiate for me, the difference between a game day on the deck and a game day in the sports book. What's the difference and why should people come out here to enjoy a game other than the weather? Yeah, look, there's something about what there was, something about watching Celtics NBA finals action outdoors on the deck with the fireplace going and people screaming. It just feels different. And, you know, I, look, I, I love baseball and baseball under the sun is different than under your fluorescent light. Sitting out here on a Saturday afternoon with a cold beer in your hands, some great food from Victory Kitchen, watching the Sox game, it's not a bad plan B. Parking's a lot cheaper and it's easier on the way out. There's a lot of sports. In New England, we want to be outside in the summer. God bless us, Mother Nature's been a bit confused as of late, but on the great days, we want to give her her due and be out here and enjoy it under the sun and under the stars. So you speak of Victory Kitchen. Do you have any game day favorites? I gotta say, pizzas are great here. We work hard at it, but probably the smash burger that we do, I've probably been working on a smash burger with a friend for about 20 years of my life. I know that's a sad, geeky truth about my culinary history, uh, but I think we've got it right now. If you want a burger under the sun with a cold Sam Adams or beer of your choice, the deck's the right spot for it. We're gonna do, continually do, food events out here. I have barbecue events. We're going to do another clam bake, lobster bake out here this summer. There's going to be a perpetual series of events and then some big parties that we're going to start to throw out here uh, on the track from time to time. Stay tuned for more information on that. Now that we've mentioned everything that the deck has to offer, it's time to go inside this legendary summer event. Yes, their first annual lobster bake. I am dying to hear more. Dirty Water Media's Sophie Sargent has the details. Thanks guys, nothing says New England summer more than lobster outside on a hot day. And that's what we're doing today here at the Brook. Now, take my word for it, there is nothing better than a lobster roll or a lobster bake with all the fixins. Now, let's go crack some claws at the Brook. The Lobster Bake at the Brook is a debut event that guests flock to this summer. And with good reason, everybody loves a classic lobster bake, overflowing with boiled lobster, Corn on the cob, clam chowder, clams, mussels, watermelon, and blueberry cobbler. It's the perfect summer vibe. This feast was all thanks to celebrity chef Jeff Weiss, who put his own personal spin on the classic lobster bake. I've, well, I've cooked a lot of lobster, I can tell you that, especially today. So what brought you to New Hampshire specifically, and what do you bring from Vegas and from your you know history as a chef here in particular? Well, you know, Vegas is really special. We, uh, first of all, we cook, a, we cook a lot of lobster in Vegas too. I've done lobster feeds and crab, um, lobster, crab, clam feeds over the years. You know, the folks at this property, at the Brook, it's, it's such a beautiful property. They're, they've, they're really community-minded, and we, we kind of share a lot of values like that. I've done events for them. So they gave me a call and said, you know, we, we would really like to do a lobster feed and do this fun thing, and like, absolutely, let's go. It was clear the unique touches that the Brook added to this lobster bake were a huge hit with the guests. Well, guys, what can I say? The lobster bake was a huge success, and I'm sure that it will be for years to come. Now I have to decide, am I going to eat the claw or the tail first? <laughs> I can't wait to see what other special events come out to the deck here at the Brook. Reporting for Dirty Water Media, I'm Sophia Sargent. She is the newest staff member here. This is Clover. So as we talked about earlier, you know, this is the largest charity casino in America, over 102 charities we work on behalf of every year. And a lot of those charities, they need a little extra love. People are in some of the more difficult situations they have in their life. And uh, we use this uh, opportunity to bring an ambassador of good. And this is Clover. How do you feel about being a working girl? <laughs> yes. Ah. 
Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. My name is Kendra Middleton alongside Gianna Gravelisi and what might be my favorite space at the Brook Casino, Seasons Showroom, where they bring you professionally produced entertainment all year round. How cool is this theater? It's so sophisticated and intimate. Like, I feel like we're actually in Vegas waiting to see a show. Tonight, I'm super excited to check out the Uptown Boys, which is a Billy Joel themed show right here in Seasons Showroom. I'm really looking forward to it, Kendra. I heard it's a little bit like Jersey Boys, but with Billy Joel in the spotlight. We'll take you inside the Jersey Boys later, but for now, let's go check out Season Showroom. Entertainment on the Seacoast just got a whole lot better. From live music, comedy shows, and more, there's no better way to kick off a night of gambling, good food, drink, and fun than by taking in a show at Seasons. Come enjoy all new shows in an intimate and cozy venue before hitting the gaming tables. From the ambiance, the cocktails, and the entertainment, Seasons is the best venue to come celebrate a big night out at one of many professionally produced shows. I mentioned that this is one of my favorite spaces that you guys offer, and it's because I love Vegas. This makes me feel like I'm watching a show in Vegas. What was the inspiration behind Seasons, and what makes this place I'm so be special? Honest. I'm <laughs> be honest. I'm stealing from my past. You know, I, I was blessed to run the Golden Nugget about a decade of my life. The showroom there was originally built for Frank Sinatra. Steve Wynn built it for Frank Sinatra in what was a ballroom. You see, I get enough towels. <laughs> And it was really a cabaret theater. And people loved playing it because it wasn't big, because they connected in a different way with the audience. And we were able to come in with the great sound engineers and make the sound quality epic. And then we were able to give it a cabaret feel. And suddenly you don't feel like you're in Southern New Hampshire anymore. And then you take an artist like tonight, Rob Schneider, SNL and movie fame. You put an artist like this in it and you go, I am having a great night out. Another one of my favorite aspects about Season Showroom is that I don't have to go very far to get a drink. Cabaret theater means you drink while you watch. And so we have a great bar, pretty elegant bar, back there as well, and cocktail service in the room. The chef and me wants to make great cocktails. So we have really talented professional bartenders. Hey, the other thing we did with Seasons is we just filled it with screens. would be a great place to watch sports. And one of the really fun things to do here is watch UFC. We've had fantastic New England UFC fighters in-house watching along with us. Obviously, big UFC event coming up in Boston. Hey, if you have tickets, don't miss it. If you can't, be at the Brook. The other thing, stick around after we bring in DJs and this kind of transforms itself into a great after hours. Seasons is a super cool and intimate venue to check out a variety of entertainment before hitting the casino floor for a night of gaming. And tonight, Sophie Sargent takes you inside the Uptown Boys, a Billy Joel themed show that'll have you thinking you're literally in Vegas. The Uptown Boys is where the swagger of Jersey Boys meets the legendary songbook of Billy Joel in one epic night of entertainment. And now they have a summer residency at the Brook right here in Seabrook, New Hampshire. One night, three guys, all the hits of Billy Joel. The Uptown Boys are an award-winning musical group who have been hailed by Broadway World as a charismatic tribute to the piano man himself. Singing the songs exactly as audiences remember, the Uptown Boys have something for everyone, from casual listeners to the most discerning of Billy Joel fans. And this summer at the Brook, the Uptown Boys have audiences on their feet as they rock out to the New York City Icons hits. Featuring 27 of Billy Joel's legendary songs, the Uptown Boys are a group not to be missed. Catch their award-winning shows at the Brook all summer long. Lucky is this quintessential New England story known to gamblers. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Gianna Gravelisi here at the Brook Casino with Kendra Middleton. We just took in a stupendous show. I feel like we feel like some uptown girls and we're ready to hit the casino. I don't know about you, but I am ready for a cocktail, which is why we headed over to Lucky's, the newest food venue at the Brook Casino. Whether you're craving breakfast all day or need coffee and a cocktail, Lucky's is always a winning bet. Serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The secret's out. There is never a bad time to eat at Lucky's. The latest addition to the Brook is Lucky's. I know there is quite the backstory about this place, so can you tell me who Lucky is and what was the inspiration behind it? Yeah, look, Lucky is the inspiration, and Lucky is this 
quintessential New England story known to gamblers. Lucky grew up in a difficult situation and uh, they took him in at the Home for Little Wanderers. When he left the Home for Little Wanderers, he was taken in by a famous trainer in New England, the trainer in fact that ultimately trains Secretariat. Lucky learns to handicap. He turns out he's probably one of the most gifted gamblers of, of all time. But, but the only thing that, that outweighed how good he was at gambling was how generous he was with his heart. And so he was known as the, you know, as we say in the gambling business, he was triple George. So Lucky's is coffee to cocktails. It is yeah. breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Lucky's is about having an elegant enough environment that if you want to put on a blazer and you want to put on something special and you want to feel like you're going to have a little bit of a night out, you can do it here. At the same time, if you're just rolling in uh, off the golf course or off the casino floor and you just want uh, steak and eggs, steak tips and eggs, um, you can have it here as well. It's about having a great bar, really talented bartenders, and being attentive to what you put on the plate, but doing it in a way that you know, hey, everyone's here to have fun. And I feel lucky when I'm here. This room is kind of designed ideally for an old fashioned. It matters what you put in that old fashioned. Ingredients just like fine food matter. Um, so you're going to build your meal around it. New Englanders love their steak tips. You're going to have some steak tips and you're going to save room for dessert. And here dessert is, uh, I'm going to have to say, the brookie is probably what you're going to want to wrap up meal with. After dinner, you're going to have a stick around and have an Irish coffee. That sounds incredible. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Hey. I loved having you here and sharing what is uh, for me as a New Englander to be able to come back after a life in Las Vegas and bring a little bit of that cachet to it, but do it in a uniquely New England way. It's been a blast, and I hope people come and make it part of their tradition. Now you understand why we feel so lucky to be here at Lucky's and we get to enjoy these amazing cocktails. Not only are we having a couple beverages, but we got to explore the nice weather on the deck with a lobster bake. We saw a season showroom show in the Uptown Boys. Kendra, I am still so shocked at how much there is to do here at the Brook. I have to say, I think my favorite thing about being here was learning how much they actually give back to local charities. Oh, absolutely. And guess what? I think it's time to hit up the casino. We're going to go win big, but before we do, we have a saying here at Dirty Water. Oh, yes. The weekend may be over. But the party never ends. On, on Dirty, Dirty Water, Water TV. TV.